Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and as you can see in the title, this video is going to be about a week in the life of a PhD student. I did a previous video where I filmed a day in the life of a PhD student but that was also during COVID so hopefully this will give you a better representation of what my week is like. And I guess this also goes back to the fact that I'm doing a PhD. My week is always different. Uh, I don't have a day that's, you know, always the same. Everything, I've got so much going on, so many events, so many experiments and stuff like that, that um, I hope you get a bit of a glimpse into what my week is like. And so I thought I'd start my video on a Thursday. It's a bit weird, uh, but that's the Cambridge tradition of starting the academic week on a Thursday. So I thought I would go with the tradition. And today I have a seminar starting at 9.15 in the morning. Uh, it's still virtual because we've got a pretty large group and although most of the rules have been lifted, uh, it's just so much more easy to just do it virtually. So one of my colleagues is doing a presentation this week and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. The rest of the day, I'll then head into the lab after the seminar and I'll just be doing some data analysis today. And then in the evening, I've got a formal at Hughes Hall that I'll be going to. I've been invited by one of the postdocs in the group. So that's, I'm excited for that because I've never been to Hughes Hall yet. Very interesting molecules called bipyridine, BPD. Exactly why you excite with your laser. So that could explain. The best thing can talk is to set people a Light, you might be evaporating um, capping region. After the seminar, I headed to my office, which is a few minutes cycle away. You definitely need a bike to get around Cambridge. This week was a particularly data analysis heavy week, as I had done heaps of experiments the week before. Here's me analyzing some X ray photo electron spectroscopy data. And now it's lunchtime. It's been a really nice day, so we've been having lunch outside. And yeah, we've got a really nice cute pond. And now back to work. I spent the rest of the afternoon doing data analysis and before the formal, because I teach and demonstrate first year physics labs, I was marking everyone's lab books. <laughs> okay, so it's now evening time and now we're all dressed up for Jennifer and Sarah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and so this is my friend Sarah. Hi. She's also in the same group as me and second year and then we're gonna go to Hughes Hall now for the formal. Yes. Exciting. <laughs> First of all, a very warm welcome to our How are you guys finding it? <sighs> so I'm finally back at home. It's 2211 now. <laughs> but I had such a lovely time. First time at Hughes Hall in terms of formal, so it was a really nice time. The food was actually really nice. But yeah, overall today has been a, a pretty nice day, pretty productive. But I would have to say that this coming week is one of the busiest of the month. So we'll see how I survive. But so far, all good. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Hello. So it's Friday today, day two of the this week in a PhD student. Today is also a pretty packed day again. I've now made it to the office. I'm still so not used to filming myself, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking. There's no one here at the moment, so I can film, but yeah, I've got another day of data analysis and then 
I help out with a women in physics society at the department and we've got a coffee slash tea mornings in like 30 minutes so we'll see how much work I, get, I can get done but the the coffee machine is oh my goodness it's it's so fancy so I'll have to show you that I headed over to the Maxwell Centre where we have the coffee and this is the coffee machine everyone talks about you can literally choose how much coffee you want, how much milk to the milliliter you want, and either oat or semi skimmed as well, and the size of your coffee. And it does it all automatic for you in front of you. I'm now in the undergrad demonstrating labs as I'm demonstrating this afternoon it'll be from 1.45 to 5.45 and I'll have about 10 students I'll be looking after and this is the the last demonstrating for the term for the term so yeah Hello, it's Saturday today. Um, sorry, I didn't film much yesterday evening. We went to a Thai restaurant for dinner and then we ended up going to a pub afterwards, which is really fun. So, yeah, today, uh, first up, I'm going to go out for brunch and then going to go see the botanic gardens and then I might do a little bit of shopping and then come back home and I will do a little bit of work today just because on Tuesday for half of the day I'm going to go to Oxford for the first time ever. Um, our college has organised a formal swap with the sister college Somerville so I'm very much looking forward to that but that means that I'll be missing out a little bit of work during the day so I hope to do it a little bit and I've also got a meeting with my supervisor on Wednesday so I need to prepare for that as well. So yeah, here's to Saturday! I'm at the Cambridge University Botanic Gardens now and I'm in the Winter Gardens so yeah I'm having a nice little stroll around and I hope you enjoy some footage, footages that I take. So it's Sunday today. Uh, today I've got orchestra rehearsal in the afternoon. Um, but before that, I've just done, you know, been doing laundry and just some admin. And now I'm headed off to Sainsbury's, the grocery store. Um, it's all very close, so I'm quite very lucky. But tomorrow we found out last Friday that it's our supervisor's 
uh, birthday. So after my orchestra rehearsal and dinner, I'm going to make a, a cake. And so we're going to all try and organize a bit of a surprise for tomorrow morning. I then headed to West Road Concert Hall for a full afternoon worth of rehearsal. My orchestra had a concert coming up in the upcoming week, so it was a more intense rehearsal than usual. made a bit of a mess in the kitchen but hopefully this vegan cake will turn out good. This is my first time making a vegan cake so we'll see how it goes. It's out of the oven now. I didn't I thought it would rise a little bit more so it's a little bit thin so that's why I made two smaller cakes but <laughs> here it is I'll make I'll take this one in for the lab and then make these into a little tiered cake. Ooh, it's nice and sunny today. I am taking the bus for the first time in like a few months because I've got, I've got this cake. Um, I hope I don't drop it. Yeah, we've got a universal new bus that goes through from Eddington and Eddington Town. So it's really useful. It's only a pound for students or any staff members from the university. Okay, so yeah, I'll be headed to the office and hopefully the, the birthday surprise will, will be fine. <laughs> Then we saw this really, really tiny shrew. This is as big as that bumblebee before. It's, it's not. A bunch of Girton postgraduate students hopped on a bus like a school trip and we headed off to Oxford for a sister college formal swap. So most Cambridge and Oxford colleges have a corresponding sister college where they have a nice relationship with. So the MCR, we organised a sister college formal swap. Girton Sister College is Somerville College so we headed to Oxford for the afternoon and we explored around the city and then headed to the college for a formal oh, yeah. dinner. She is now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.